Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at my Genshin Impact account, as it is my one year anniversary on the game. I have now been playing this game for one year in total, which is a long time, and I just wanted to take a chance to show off my account and everything I've done throughout the years. I did one of these videos in the past for five months, I believe. It was one of my first videos on my channel. If you would like to see that, I'll leave a link to it down below. Anyways, let's get right into it. First off, we'll start with inventory. These are all my weapons. I have all of the four star weapons, I believe. Actually, that might not be true because I didn't buy the royal weapons and I haven't bought the black cliff weapons. And I also have not got some of the limited banner four star weapons. But most of the ones I have 80, I have for specific characters as any character that I level up to 80, I like to build out completely. Some I have here that are like level 60, like Dodoko Tails, I haven't built. White Blind I haven't built yet for Noel, for example. And then Sack Sword I have for uh, Zing Cho. I won't go through all these weapons, but you can kind of see where I'm at with the four star weapons. As for five star weapons, uh, three of these I got on standard banner. I got two Aquilophavonias, which was kind of annoying, but what are you gonna do about that? And then I also got Skyward Blade, which I actually really like and works on a lot of characters. And then for the limited banner weapons, I got one primordial jade cutter, which uh, if you watch my Yamiko video, uh, I got that in the weapon banner, which I was very happy about. And then I lost the 50-50 on the ammo's bow banner, which I wanted for Ganyu, and I got Skyward Pride instead, which I'm now using on Eula, which I know isn't the greatest thing ever, but it's just what I have. And then I also won the 50-50 for Calamity Queller, and I put it on my Shenha. Next up, artifacts. Uh, I'll go through these more in detail when we go through the character section, but I have how many pages of artifacts? I have one, two, three, about three pages of artifacts. Three full pages of level 20 art gold artifacts, which is pretty good. And then I just have a lot of extra gold artifacts that I have locked that I haven't built yet. I have a lot of emblem, I have a lot of Shibanawas, I grinded that dungeon for a long time. I've recently been grinding the uh, Retracting Bolide in the Archaic Petra dungeon because I've wanted some of the mats for different characters like Geo Traveler and Ningguang. And then other than that I have a lot of Wanderers pieces and a lot of Glad pieces just from doing boss fights and stuff. And then I currently have no <laughs> EXP because I've been grinding uh, Artifact EXP and using it for for tested pieces for uh, Venti who is upcoming in the next banner and he is one of the only five stars that I do not currently have. As for general mass like mob materials and just farming food, it's all pretty common. I don't I don't really go out of my way to get food or it's just kind of what I get throughout the game as I play. I like to keep at least a little bit of healing items on me just so I can heal and regen throughout playing the game. And then mats, I have. A lot of pro I have a lot of prototype spears. I got really lucky with these. I got nine of them. And then I got four, five, five, and then I don't have as many bow billets because I used a lot of them when upgrading my gun use um Hamayumi, which I do regret. I wish I I had built a prototype amber for her, but that's too late now. A little low on crystal chunks. I don't uh, go out of my way to grind them. I used to. I used to do that um, not daily, but I do it a lot as I grind crystal chunks, and I don't do that anymore because I don't find it very enjoyable, and I already get them from doing the uh, commissions every day. And then for the mob materials, I'm currently grinding books for Venti, as I explained before. As I said previously, I don't have a lot of these materials because I don't go out of my way to grind them. And then for these boss materials, I do do my weekly bosses. I only do three of them a week because it saves resin, and I don't need a lot of the weekly bosses, like as for Ashdaha mats, I really don't need them for any characters, like I've already have my Ayaka to max 10 10 10, and then Yoimiya I also have 10 10, and other than that I don't really want to grind these mats for anybody else. So yeah, I think that's about it for this section, if you want to pause and look at any of these, feel free. I don't have all of the gadgets in the game, but uh, I'm working on that, even though I, because I was a late player, I actually can't get all of the gadgets, I believe. I know some of them are in the shop, and I just... You know, I can't be bothered to waste some more on that, as it's not really worth it. As for the precious items, I got one birthday cake. Again, I've only been playing the game for a year, so my birthday hasn't come around again. I got one one extra Enumoculus. I don't know where I got that from or why I have an extra one, but I do. Uh, I have no starter glitter right now. Um, I've been saving up my fragile resin currently for um, the new artifact domain. I'm going to be grinding that. And then I have a lot of Dream Solovets. I don't know why I have so many of these. I just, I've never felt the need to use them. 
because I always have the boss materials that I need for the characters that I want, I don't use many Dream Soul of it. And then Teapot, I actually do furnish my Teapot. If you watch my Teapot furnishing video, you'll know that I have a very, very nice Teapot, so I do have a lot and lot of furnishings. As for my character archive, I do have every character in the game, but if you remember, I did not win the 50-50 on the Yamiko banner in my previous video. And then I also do not have Venti yet, as he's just not appeared on a banner since I've started playing. Other than that, I have every character in the game. Achievements, uh, I'm not an achievement hunter. A lot of these I don't have yet, like the Monster that Travel series I don't have yet. I don't know, This I think this is a commission related thing, which I just don't have yet. Uh, Elemental Specialist, I just haven't been bothered to go out of my way and do this yet. I don't know how I have not completed the Challenger series. Oh, it's because I haven't defeated the unusual Healy Charl 20 times. And then even after this, you have to do it another 20 times, which is not very fun. I guess I haven't defeated the Monkey Kenki when he was talking to me, so I haven't finished the Challenger series 4 either. And then this one I haven't completed. I had to complete 5 3. You know, I'll achievement, I'll achievement hunt eventually and I'll get some of these done. But a lot of these are commission related, so you just can't complete them. And other ones are like the fishing one where you have to catch 500 fish with. I'm not gonna do I cannot be bothered to catch 500 fish for an achievement I'm not a uh, completionist like some people are with this game okay moving on to characters I'll just go through all the characters I have upgraded because a lot of these characters I just haven't put time into like Amber, Zinyan, Kuchisara, etc any character that's below like level 60 I just haven't put any time into and they just have pointless weapons and stuff like that so we'll start off with my main character, which is Yoi Mia. She is level 90. Her split is 60-180. I'm currently using Rust on her. Artifacts, a uh, four-piece Shimanawa. If you want to pause, you can look at this. Constellation Zero, counts are 10-10-9. I never regret building my Yoi Mia. She is my favorite character in the game. I like her playstyle. I think she's very fast and I enjoy that. And then also with Yoon Jun, she works really well with and I really enjoy her playstyle. Next up, Ganyu, level 90. I just got her recently. I haven't I actually don't enjoy playing Ganyu that much. I kinda got her prematurely, I grinded all her mats, and I really don't actually enjoy her charged up playstyle. But it is what it is. I've already built her. Uh, I have the R5 Hamayumi on her. Again, I had wish I felt like prototype pressing was better. Uh trying to use the Hamayumi, I don't like how it holds you back from using your uh, Q skill, or your burst, sorry. But other than that, I like um, having the Hamayumi as I don't have to specifically go for those charge shots in the um, eye or their weak point, sorry. Artifacts, I'm wearing a four piece Wanderers Troop for the charge shot build. You can pause to look at any of these pieces. Constellation zero, talents are nine, seven, eight. And the split is 62, 193. Aika, if you watch my Aika video, I showed her off just recently. I just recently 10, 10, 10 her and leveled her up to level 90. Her split is 96, 250. And then I'm rocking the primordial jade cutter on her. Artifacts. Constellation zero, towns are 10, 10, 10. The only 10, 10, 10 unit I have in the game. Next up, Mona, level 90. I'm rocking the Wood Sith, level 90 on her, R5. I think that's her best in slot weapon right now. It's a very good weapon, and probably one of my favorites in the game, honestly, because I really enjoy the fact that you can use a four star weapon on a five star unit and it still be a best in slot weapon. Artifacts, four piece emblem. Constellation 3, I have lost a lot of 50-50s in this game, so you'll see with a lot of these standard banner units that they are a high constellation. And then our uh, talents are 5, 7, 13. I used a crown on her at burst ability. And then Kaching, 81 out of 90, 69, 201 is split. I am using the black sword on her, R3. I want to get this R5 eventually for Kaching. Uh, I could use the primary jade cutter on her, but I like it better on Ayaka. And then uh, I have the four-piece Thunder user. I could use two-piece uh, Thundering Fury and two-piece Glad, but I just don't have the substats and the stats to rock that set. So unfortunately, I have to use four-piece Thunder Soothers instead. She is C1, and then her talents are 888. Next up is my Cosmo, level 80. He has 972 Elemental Mastery. 
Uh, the split doesn't really matter. I unfortunately don't have enough ER on him. I need to get more on him, but unfortunately the Verdes Insane is a pain to farm as the maiden set is utterly useless on like every character in the game. I'm working an Iron Sting level 90. Uh, I haven't refined this yet. Uh, I just don't. Th I think it's the refinements are kind of pointless as it only increases this six percent by a very slim margin. And then I am rocking two piece Viridescent, two piece Ocean Clam. Here are the pieces. Constellation Zero, talents are 287. And then we've got Shen He, level 80. I have 3,400 attack on her, which I'm pretty proud of. That is quite a bit, which is because of the Calamity Coiler, level 90. This is one of my favorite weapons in this game. I don't regret rolling on this weapon banner. Artifacts, I'm running two-piece emblem and two-piece glad for because I need a little bit of energy recharge on her to get her burst back on cooldown. You can pause if you want to look at those pieces. Constellation Zero, talents are 188. Next up, one of my favorite characters in the game, besides Yoimiya, is Yoon Jin. Her weapon is Favonius Lance, that's her best slot. Refinement rank 4, I just need one more and I'm getting refined 5. And then I got two piece emblem, two piece husk. Uh, I just can't get a four piece husk set on every character because I know so many characters want it. And the husk set is just a pain to grind because only one other character on the entire game needs the ocean hued clam set. And I already have a completed ocean hued piece clam set, so I don't need to grind that anymore. And then the husk pieces are just really annoying to get. So here are the pieces Constellation 6. Talents are 1, 10, 11. And the split is 54, 119 1, with 220 energy recharge. We've got Diona. I am rocking Sacrificial Bow on her, level 80, refinement rank 5, which is nice. Uh, I have her on 4 piece Maiden. I could have a 4 piece Nevet, but again, I just don't have the substats to justify running a four piece in the blast set and i get a little more dps out of this one which isn't exactly what you want with diona but i like having a little bit of extra damage constellation six and talents are two nine ten next up official who is level 80 her split is 51 127 we've got a stringlish which is refinement rank four this will probably be going to venti once i get him and then I am rocking a two-piece glad, two-piece thunder and fury, which should probably be Kachang's, but the pieces aren't the greatest, so I keep it on official instead. And then she is constellation six, and talents are three, eleven, ten. Next up is Beto, who has a 62-107 split with 186 energy recharge. I'm running the luxurious sea lord, the fish. Like, one of the funniest looking weapons in the game. But this weapon is pretty good on Beto because it increases her uh, elemental burst damage by 24%, which is basically her whole kit is her elemental burst. And then you got two pieces of Noblesse, two pieces of Thundering Fury. Here are the pieces. Constellation 6 and talents are 1, 8, 10. Next up, Jungling. Level 80. Split is 60, 100 with 196 energy recharge. Weapon is Dragon Spain, which is level 80. Uh, I could run the um, the catch on her, but I'm using that on my ball right now. And I like to have, to have every character on an individual set, individual weapon, so I don't have to do a lot of swapping around. So it's just a lot easier to have a Dragon Spain for uh, Zhang Ling instead. I'm running a two piece Crimson Witch of Flames and a two piece Noblesse of Blige. Here are the pieces. Nothing too good to see there. Uh, she has C5. I still don't have C6 yet, which is unfortunate. And then her talents are 5, 9, 11. I don't know why I leveled up her normal attack. I don't even remember doing that, to be honest. And then next up, um, Elbedo, level 80. 2,200 defense, which is pretty good for Elbedo. And then I have crit rate, 45. I need a little more there. Should get up to that 50% margin. And then 108 crit damage with 106 recharge. You don't really need to recharge on Elbedo, though, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm rocking Simbar Spindle at level 80. Uh, this is uh, probably Albedo's best slot weapon. I haven't owned Harbinger and Dawn for a while, but I feel like this one's just a little bit better than Harbinger of Dawn. And then I have him on four piece husk at the moment. Nothing special to see in the pieces. And then I have 187 on the talents. 
Next up is Zhang Li. Weapon Deathmatch. Um, I wish I had a better weapon for him, but at the moment I do not. I actually built two death matches because I need another one for Zhang Li. Because, like I said previously, I like to have every character individually built, so I don't have to swap around pieces and weapons. I'm running him on four piece tenacity. Pretty simple build. It's just a full HP build because I like to keep up a good shield time. And his talents are four, eight, six. Next up is Geo Traveler. I just built Geo Traveler recently. Uh, I don't really regret you feeling Geo Traveler. Traveler is one of my favorite characters in the game, just looks wise, and I like his playstyle. I know he isn't that much of a meta character, but other than that, I really do enjoy Traveler. He is rocking a two piece Geo, two piece Shimanawas, and the talents are 1, 10, 11, and obviously he's Constellation 6. Split is 46, 95, with 138 recharge. Next up is Jean, who has 1,900 attack, which is pretty good. And then I have 50 crit rate, 119 crit damage with 180 recharge. That is because of Skyward Blade. And then artifacts are 2-piece Shimanawas and 2-piece Verdescent. Here are the pieces. Nothing special to see there. Pretty mid-pieces, Constellation 0. And then 168 on the talents. Don't worry, guys. We're getting to the, the end of the character list. But and next up is Eula, who is rocking 52, 160. Yeah, I know this crit rate's a little low, but unfortunately, I have to run a niche weapon on her because I don't have anything else. And the shield says 140 recharge. I'm running Skyward Pride on her, level 90. I wish I could be running a uh, Serpent Spine on her, but unfortunately, I don't have another one. I'm using this on Noel at the moment because I've been building her recently and trying her gameplay out. The artifacts are two piece pale flame, two piece bloodstain. Here are the pieces. This piece is pretty nice, but other than that, none of these pieces are particularly stand out. And then she is constellation zero, and then eight six seven on the talents. Next up is the Raiden Shogun or Ball. Weapon is the Catch, level ninety. One of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, the grinding for this suck, but other than that, I love this weapon. And then she is rocking a four piece emblem. Here are the pieces. My emblem pieces are pretty good, particularly in the flower and the feather department. Constellation zero. Talents are six, seven, seven. Uh, again, I don't know why I level up her normal attack. I think I got excited when she came out and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to 10, 10, 10 her. And, you know, it was kind of pointless because her normal attacks don't do anything. Next up is Kakomi. Weapon is prototype amber. Artifacts are the four-piece Oceanid Hue Clam. Some of these pieces are actually pretty good Kukomi. Like this hat, for example, has 20% HP. This cup is pretty disappointing since it could have gone better for other characters like Mono or Zing Cho. With more crit rate or crit damage. But unfortunately, I got 200 retards, 2 flat HP, which is, uh, you know, good for Kukomi at least. And talents are 6, 8, 7. Again, I don't know why I level up the normal attack of these characters. Uh, I make decisions when I make them. <laughs> Next up is Tartaglia whose split is 63, 172, with 121 recharge. This weapon is Viridescent Hunt, level 90. Artifacts are the four-piece Heart of Death. Nothing special in the artifacts. Constellation Zero, and the talents are 5, 8, 7. Next up is Hu Tao, who is rocking 62, 15, which is pretty nice if I say so myself. Right now she has a black cliff pole. This will probably go back to deathmatch eventually once I get some better substats for her. And then I'm currently rocking her on the four piece Crimson Witch of Flames. I have a C1 Hu Tao because I wasn't happy with the gameplay when I was using her to C0 as I felt it was a little niche and you know I wasn't doing as much damage as I wanted to. And then her talents are 777. Uh, D Luke. Currently isn't using anything. I still have yet to build them. His talents are 6106. I still need to get artifacts and weapons for Diluc, but if I did want to use them, I could just whip on Hu Tao's four piece Crimson Witch of Flames and he would work fine. He is unfortunately C4. That's how many 50 50s I've lost in this game. And I don't even like this character that much, but I built him just because of the C4. Next up is Noelle, who I just recently started building. She is level 80 and has a split of 53, 182. 
I would like a little more crit rate on her, but it is what it is. Her weapon is Serpent Spine, R2. And right now I'm running a four piece retracting bull light on her. Pieces are here, pretty good pieces. Constellation six and talents are eight, nine, ten. Next up is Ning Guang, who is running 65, 159 crit rate, crit damage. Weapon is the Solar Pearl. Artifacts, we are running two piece Geo and two piece Glad. Here are the pieces. Constellation 6 and talents are 8, 7, 10. Sucrose, who was my first animal character and that was the reason I leveled up to level 80. But shortly after that, I got Cause 1. I stopped immediately using Sucrose. So she really isn't built. Right now, she's just rocking a Sacramental Fragments, R5. And this four piece set is going to be Venti's eventually. Sucrose is just using it temporarily. And then she is C6 and talents are 3, 10, 11. Next up, Rosaria. Uh, she was one of my favorite characters when she first came out, but unfortunately I've kind of, you know, grown distant from her over time. She is 58, 160 on the crit rate, crit damage chart. She is rocking a level 90 death match. You're rocking two piece Noblesse Supplies, two piece Bithers Trailer. Here are the pieces. Constellation 6 and talents are 6, 11, 10. Using Cho, level 80, 53, 112, with 211 energy recharge. Weapon is Sacrificial Sword, R5. Artifacts are 2 piece Art of Death, 2 piece Noblesse Oblige. I would like to get a 4 piece emblem on him, but unfortunately, I already have so many 4 pieces emblems on other characters, so I don't want to put another one on to another character. So here are the pieces Constellation 6, talents are 1, 10, 10. And last but not least, out of the characters I have built, we have my Bennett, who I should level 90, but I haven't gone into that yet. He is 31, 76, great rate, great damage, with 20, 226 energy recharge. Weapon is level 90, a Clue of Favonia, his best in slot weapon. He is rocking a four piece Noblesse Oblige with some of my best Noblesse pieces, because I need him on them. He has a lot of energy recharge in this flower and a lot of energy recharge in this cup, which is good for Bennett. He is C5, I'm not going to get C6, and then he has 3, 7, and 11 on the talents. And that will be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video and then you'd like to see more in the future, please feel free to subscribe or leave a like down below. Thank you for watching.